everybody, this is Josh from Family Dairy Days. Um, so I recorded this video about a day or two ago and what happened was I went to go edit it last night and there was a, half of it was a corrupted file. Um, so now it's Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, two hours before I upload my video and I'm gonna redo this part. Um, so let's go. So what we have over here is uh, the hospital group. Um, anytime they have a, a bad foot or um, you know they're they're down on milk or something's wrong with them, we'll put them in here. This is our sand pen. If we're drying up cows or selling cows. This is where we hold them until we back up the trailer there. Okay, let's go over to the freestyle barn so that's uh that's our holding area we just finished milking so we'll come right down here so now we're over at the freestyle barn here um this over here is our heifer group uh you know their first lactation or if they just can't quite compete with the mature cows and over here is the mature cow group i'll walk over here quick and uh all the manure when when i scrape out the the alleys all the manure comes out here and then i'll push it into the pit and we just cleaned out the pit that's the last video i put up there and then i'll go on and pump into the slurry store here we uh we have a sprinkler system and then fans each side has eight fans four fans in each alley um and then i don't know if you can see it right there that's uh our control box we actually have automatic curtains uh depending on the temperature the top will open up or the bottom will open up and it opens up a certain amount to a uh, to cool it down in here so we don't really have to worry about that during the spring and the fall opening and closing curtains all the time so now we're gonna we'll head over to the utility room okay we're back over here by the sand pit sand pen so we're gonna come in here i'm gonna show you the utility room okay. The milk will go in there so it doesn't go through the pipeline, so we don't have to worry about any of that flushing the pipeline or anything. So that's that's actually the whole tank there, and I can't really get it on the camera. So we'll come in here. You can see the in here milking right now. And what we have. 
is the individual stalls. One is actually going out right now. So as soon as it's done, it'll get dipped and let out. So we don't have to wait for the whole entire side to be done. It's a lot more efficient. In here, is the, in here is the uh, cow group. Uh, there's a gate. See, all holding areas are at an incline because cow is natural. If you ever see a cow, uh, they're always trying to climb to the top of any hill or any pile or anything. So you make your holding area the incline and they'll naturally want to walk up. There's the exit lanes on each side that they will walk out on. That's about it. So Kristen's going to put on a cow here. What she's going to do is she's going to dip it with iodine. And then uh, she's going to take a paper towel and clean it off. And uh, we, don't, we don't strip here. Uh, some farms do. There's uh, two main reasons. One reason is they'll strip, you know, four or five times to get that uh, high cell count milk out of there. And another reason is to stimulate and help them let their milk down. But we don't have a problem with that with any of our, any of our cows. Well, well, that'll do it. So any questions, comments, concerns, uh, put it in the comments down below and we'll get back to you.